this tutorial, I'll show you how to fit this dress to this avatar. So to start with, let's bring her arms down and pick her up so she fits into her dress a bit better. Something like that. And then let's select the back patterns, without the sleeves, and using our gizmo, draw it out of her skin. We may have to do the same thing with the front patterns. Something like that. Now the dress is way too small on her, and it will never fit on her, it will pop on her. So I'm going to select everything, and in the shrinkage, weft and warp, I'm going to type in 1.4 and 1.4. And we'll probably have to refine that. Synchronize and simulate. One second, I forgot. Pause simulation, and before we simulate, let's undo that. I want to reduce, raise the particle distance to 15 because my computer isn't the fastest, and then simulate. And maybe we didn't need to make it longer in the warp, so I'm going to put it back to 1, and just in the width, have it stretch. May need to stretch even a bit more, so let's put this up to 1.6. And the, her arms are not so much wider than the other avatar, they're a bit, but not so much wider, so I'm going to just select the sleeves and the cuff parts and put this down to 1.3 1.3 that's better now as for the back of the shirt, I think there's too much material, it doesn't need to stretch that much so I'm going to select it with the tags, those little things there and I'm going to put it down to 1.4 and see how that looks, that's better and I still think the sleeves are a bit too stretched so I'm going to select the sleeve with the cuffs and try it at 1 all right, that's too tight. 1.2. Bit better. Now the sleeves are falling off her shoulder. That could be because her shoulders have a bit of different shape than the model that I modeled the clothes on. So let's show her seams, shift S. And I want this not off her shoulder, but on her shoulder. So to fix that, I'm going to take this line and this one and then just bring it up a bit and then take my curve tool and fix up this issue here and then position this here and let's see, order, center back then take my curve tool and refine this a bit so it fits a bit better simulate there it's coming up higher, we need it even a bit more higher a bit higher up so let's move that in a bit Fix this up again. And there we go, the sleeves are a bit better. If you want it higher, you can just keep on lifting it up. I'm going to fix this up a bit. Then deal with this thing in the back, because we shrink this distance here, which this is sewing onto. This is now way too wide. So I'm going to scale that together. And that doesn't look too bad. If we zoom up close to the back, we can see it's rather curved. I don't want it to be so curved, so I'm going to take this point up a touch and straighten that curve. Also, this tag belongs on the inside, but it came out. So I'm going to select this tag and the small tag. Hide her, shift A, and shove that in. Now simulate. And there it is on the inside. The buttons also disappeared. So let's find them, select them and then drag them out. Simulate. Now they're outside. I'm going to separate her arms a bit, so simulation on, and then arms get separated a touch. Now this panel here looks rather loose, so I want to make it a bit tighter. So I'm going to decrease it from 1.6 to 1.5. Synchronize, and let's check that out. Much better. Maybe even 1.45. There we go, nice and straight. So, while you can do all in one go, and, to, and decrease them all, or increase them all, on the shrink weft or warp, sometimes you have to go in and refine a few, make it either tighter, a bit looser, the sleeves a bit wider, the back part a bit wider, and things like buttons you definitely don't want to play with. You want to keep them on one, unless it's a 50 scale model, then you'd put both the shrinkage weft and warp on 0.5, 
but you don't want to just play with the weft otherwise you'll get very stretched looking buttons. And here we go with particle distance 5 with this dress fitting to our large lady here.